If you want to work from home in an administrative capacity, you may be wondering how to write a virtual assistant resume. Don't worry, we'll share everything you need to know to create a resume that lands you the ideal role as a virtual assistant. This video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter. If you're looking for a job, ZipRecruiter can help. ZipRecruiter makes it easy to apply for jobs with a single click. You can also upload your resume to their resume database so that your resume is searchable for thousands of recruiters and employers who use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is also free for job seekers. Click the link in the description below to get started with ZipRecruiter today. What is a virtual assistant? As a virtual assistant, you'll take various tasks off the plate of a busy professional or entrepreneur. You could find yourself tackling things like managing calendars, drafting correspondence, or responding to customer inquiries. You may also be responsible for niche responsibilities like blogging, graphic design, or social media management. Please note, you can be a virtual assistant as an employee of a company, but it's also very common for businesses to fill this role with a freelancer. What's unique about a virtual assistant resume? A virtual assistant resume has much in common with many other types of resume. However, the critical difference is that it's written intentionally to secure a work from home job as a virtual assistant. Your virtual assistant resume should include several sections. Let's review them. Up first is your contact information. The recruiter, hiring manager, or business owner needs to be able to reach you quickly and easily to set up an interview. So list your cell phone number and a professional looking email address under your name. Warning, be sure to avoid unprofessional looking email addresses that include slang, profanity, or a nickname as it could turn off the person reading your resume. Next is the summary or objective statement. The summary or objective statement is your opportunity to grab the reader's attention and it should highlight why you are the ideal candidate. If you're a seasoned professional, you should write a summary statement that captures your best career achievements to date. But if you're new to the field or the workforce in general, you should opt for an objective statement explaining your desire to succeed in the role and how your transferable skills will help you do so. As a tip, this section should be a max of three to four concise, compelling lines. Next is your work experience. In this section, list your work history in reverse chronological order. This means your most recent role should appear first. You should include your job title, the company you worked for, the dates you held the position for each job, and then write three to five bullet points showcasing your most remarkable achievements during your time at that role. Next is your education section. In this section, you should list the relevant degrees and certifications that you've earned. If you have an extensive work history, you can keep this section pretty short. However, if you're new to the workforce or field, it's a good idea to flesh out this area. What should be left off a virtual assistant resume? When editing your virtual assistant resume, leave off any photos of yourself and leave off any information that doesn't make you look like a great candidate for the job. For more information and examples of things to leave off your resume, click the link in the description below. It's a great idea to add skills to your virtual assistant resume, whether that's a skills section or incorporating skills into your resume as a whole. Here are some examples of skills that you should include on your virtual assistant resume. For a full list of skills, click the link in the description below. You should now be armed with the knowledge it takes to write a virtual assistant resume. If you still feel like you need a little help, you may want to work with a resume writing service. Click the link in the description below to learn more about resume writing services. Once your resume is polished and ready to go, you can search for your next role on ZipRecruiter. Click the link in the description below to get started with ZipRecruiter.